come on. Me and Dutch are gonna go see that man, Sheriff Gray. That's a big horse. Buddy, buddy. Here's a brush. Come on, George. Is a good man. Real good. Alright, let's go. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sheriff! Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. Yes, I don't And your friend drive. is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm mm -hmm. sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, few changes in the labor laws. Okay. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found they're still hidden all over <laughs> Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But... I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure <gasps> if it's true. I know that, Breach. I used to chuck rich, people off huh? in online. <laughs> so I imagine. I know that, Breach. In the alligator, I swear that there's a big alligator around here. 
no, no, the civilian. Yes, I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Is that a lady? Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. This must have happened recently. Jesus. Mm. What even happened to Lenny, hey, bro? He come just have disappeared. A look at this. The young guy. The young guy just, like, disappeared. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. The Lloyd Raiders. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. I think we can go a little faster, don't you? Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to meet. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Hey, slow it down a bit. They're right again here. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. Hey, hey, not so fast! He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. See what we're dealing with. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Howdy, Deputy Williamson. Hold back. 
See if they split up. We won't catch the rider. Grab the other fella. Gather them up. Yeah. Go, 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 go. This feels weird. I actually don't mind this because I'm still like hurting people in a way, but it's not the way that I want to. him with the other. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. So, tell me about <laughs> That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure.
die there. Damn it. I'm on the way back here. Where did they start the Okay, it's just across there. I thought it was ages ago. Don't get in! Don't get in! <laughs> now let's go. Well done! <laughs> Well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, <laughs> no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses <laughs> bill get this stuff out of here come on you ride with me okay Every should i stash this somewhere near camp boss yes show it to hosea i'm sure he can find a use for it bit of trouble back there arthur ain't there always from what they was yelling i think they were the buyers Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Jesus. Uh, there.
you catch a second win, this won't be much of a race. I'm just picking my moment, Dutch. I'm the champion. so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew Agent slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Good. I want Dutch to like me. I am gonna talk to him. You know, I genuinely think there's. I don't think this respect thing matters too much if the right people like me because, like, I don't care if Uncle hates me. <laughs> What's he gonna do in the long run? Right. That badge you're wearing makes me very uncomfortable. How is the old city? How are you? Doing? You want me to shave? Piss off. <laughs> so I say that fear that I'm wearing makes you uncomfortable when you take well, Is that Lenny? Uh, Hello, Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Arthur? Lemoyne wouldn't be my first choice, but this is a good spot. I thought Lenny was dead. You join us here, Morgan. Will you be well, too? I'll try. I really will. Hey, Arthur, C can I have a quick word? In a sec, oh. Yes, Molly, we can talk. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What do you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip up so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. 
What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Oh, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded. These horses apparently. look amazing. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <laughs> Bill's got a Bill's got a, Smart Alex. a meaty horse. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all in five minutes. He does have a very, very good point. I need to go down and buy some. Wow, you boys have been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what huh? is it? Don't hear exactly. Well, I told you. Careful. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they're passing through the crossroads up ahead. And soon, Williamson. <laughs> Christ's sake. <laughs> I should be doing it. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to. See, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid! You know, boys, I, d I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Yes, I die in. Uh, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> Money. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah!
the trail. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's men at camp. All right. Whoa. Let's, let's, let's hide in here. Quick. Yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Mm. Uh. Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I hate it. Now, let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It's gonna not be. All right, coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> The place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. This guy is Fox. blind. Place is empty. Shit. <laughs> Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers. You don't know what you're That's it. What's that, Arthur? More on the right here. Standing that that time, their aim is their aim is. Give him hell, boys! Shoot him! Behind you! Ah! Why am I the shot? Ah! Behind you, Charles! More on the right here! Ah! <laughs> Cornwall for a while. I didn't know we was 
Arthur, with me. And you can dump Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Hmm? Quick, behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left, and I'll take the right, okay? Your right or my right? Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our back. It was an down. honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jensen. Stay quiet and move. 